Yeah. What's going on over here? Auntie says you're mac and cheese is the best mac and cheese. <laughs> hey everybody welcome back to testing today we are going to be making mac and cheese oh lord who don't love a good mac and cheese i do and this is how i make it all right let's go we're gonna need four to five onions and this is enough to make like two good size mac and cheese yeah I got a good tip from watching one of Gordon Ramsay's videos and he said you should always cut your onions from the top down to the root. Don't start from the root because that's when you start to cry. That, that's the thing that release all of the, the crying things. All right, and then we're gonna go in with four to five plummy tomatoes. And we're just gonna slice those up evenly. Give them a good chop up. There we go. And then we're gonna peel four cloves of garlic, which we're gonna add later. We're gonna get a nice big pot of water boiling with around three teaspoons of salt. And then we're gonna start on our seasoning. So we need about half a tablespoon of butter or something there, oats, with a little tubs of olive oil or any kind of oil, and some thyme. We're just gonna saute him for a little bit and then we're gonna add all our chopped onions and tomatoes oh and by the way I normally add a good amount of sweet sweet pepper the yellow ones are the ones I prefer but I only did have a little tops of the green ones so yeah we're gonna crush our garlic and add it to that too just start to cook him down add a little bit of salt to taste and we're gonna add quite a bit of black pepper. If I was making this for just me, <laughs> a scotchy would go in there too, but we have babies, right? So we're gonna add some oregano, some all-purpose seasoning, some adobo. Season it up all you like. A little bit of smoked paprika. Add a nice little depth of flavor there. And why not, a little Old Bay seasoning can hurt and um, roughly two teaspoons of sugar bring out the sweetness and a little splash of balsamic vinegar and we're just gonna make that cook down together simmer down and live good and always keeping in mind you know this is just a guide to what I do for my mac and cheese but make it your own you know put the seasons in that you would like all right now time for our macaroni or elbow pasta we're gonna use about two to three bags of pasta this is a 400 gram bag or a 40 ounce bag it's 40 ounces my book check package all right so a key key thing here is not to overcook the pasta we want it to still have a bite to it because it's have to cook in the oven without a soggy pasta all right we're gonna save a cup of pasta water this is gonna come in really handy later remember not cooking the pasta fully through we're gonna drain it and then we're gonna add our veggies that we made from earlier please remember to take out the time take out the time nobody don't want a big string of time in their mouth all right stir him up nice and at this point I don't really have the heat on it's just the the heat from the macaroni I always like to go in and still have a little taste test and see what I need to adjust in the seasoning, right? So now is the time if you need a little more salt, if you need a little more black pepper, paprika, whatever it may be, add it, edit it. I like to go by the principle of you can always add. So I go little, little, it's harder to take out. Now right off the bat, we're gonna go in with a full box of cream. So I have to tell you, this recipe is not for the faint of heart. There's a lot of cream and there's a lot of cheese, okay? So don't worry about it. It's not something we eat every day. <laughs> We're going to add some cheddar jack cheese. Or that combination, I should say. We're going to go with a nice Italian mix. Don't be shy. Get it all in there. And of course, you have to have some of that parmesan. So the thing is, again, use whatever cheese you like. I live in Jamaica on an island. It's a beautiful island, but we're not always guaranteed to get the same cheeses. <laughs> so use what you have. Add some pasta water. That helps to bring everything together. And a little bit of block cheese because, you know, 
that reminds me of when my mom used to make it and I have to to pay homage to her because she's who taught me how to make this. Ain't that enough oil? A little bit more pasta water, a little bit more cream. You see, I just keep adding and adding until it's the right consistency. When you think you've added enough, add more. <laughs> That's the general rule here. All right, so we're going to go in with some plain corn flakes. Just crush them up and some panko breadcrumbs. Yeah. This is just to stop it from sticking. And now we're going to start layering. So we're going to layer our mac and cheese mixture. You see how creamy it is? That's what we want. And no surprise, we're going to top it off with a little more cheese. Yeah. Just in case it never gets enough in the mix. Bless God. And then we're going to go back on top of the cheese with the corn flakes and the panko. Awesome. And we just keep doing that. So this recipe is enough to make two decent sized mac and cheeses or you can make a nice big one. Sometimes I'm even left with a little bit for like a little, a little mac and cheese that I just make in a bread pan. It's still just as yummy. Here you go. We're going to bake it at 450 degrees or until it's golden brown. We don't want it too, too cooked out, right? We're not trying to cook it twice. We're just bringing them together. Clean up. I always find it so satisfying. And there we are. Voila. Oh, mac and cheese. Yep. Look at that little bit just still bubbling there. And you know I have to go in for a little taste test, right? Because I just have to make sure it's right. It's hot, but I'm not telling a lie. <laughs> Creamy. <laughs> See what craving gets you? Creamy, cheesy, yummy. All those seasonings and flavors are coming through. Oh, look who's making an appearance. Pay hugs. Hi, honey. Hey. Check Zaya face. She's like, Mommy, what go on? She's like, No, we're not into the hot things. And I did blow it, but she just never, she not into them something. <laughs> What's going on over here? And she said she's not. Am I right? When I tried this, I felt like I was in <laughs> And then the chicken. Mm. Bingo. Guys, thank you so much yeah, for watching, and I will catch you next time. Eat good. <laughs>